So in here, this is what you're gonna see. It's gonna look a little different compared to, well, depending upon the trailer again. Um, you have breaker panel one, breaker panel two, and breaker panel three. You also have heat switches, and then women's heater one, AC switches. So if you're having electrical issues, this might be the place to go. Make sure it's flipped on. And then up here are your switches for the women's lights, uh, men's lights as well. And then the porch, the porch lights, the outside lights. Um, here's your service lights as well. And there's a spare switch so that one can just stay off. Um, pump one and pump two for your water pumps down below. We'll show you those later. And then your fans, you can turn those on. And these are pretty nice. We can uh, dim the lights. You can switch them to however you want. If you're having issues with something not working, you can come in here and see if a fuse is blown. Um, and on the back side of the panel, it'll tell you uh, whatever that fuse is. There's a couple of extras in here, maybe one or two extras in here, but you'll have a red light that comes on if the fuse is blown. And then you also have your radio right here. You can switch it. Turn the volume up, you can have it just for specific zones as well. And then this is your AC um, thermostat. So this is just for the AC, your heaters will be underneath the, the floors, most likely are on the wall heaters. So this battery disconnect, this is a, in case you have no power, we tend to leave these off. Um, the battery i mean you're using just a car battery to power the whole trailer it's not going to run for very long 